the word is that the company has decided to replace George Sherman as CEO, and they have now hired a headhunting firm to replace him. And um, that came out a little a little while before the bottom of the day, um, and the shares at that time were something along the one. 43 neighborhood, somewhere around the 143 neighborhood. They had been at 139, which was kind of the low of the day. They got up to 143. Then the announcement came out that they were going to replace George Sherman. The stock took a drop to the 135 level. And now in the last 45 minutes, they've come kind of back along here to this 139 neighborhood. That is the story. So what does this mean if Mr. Sherman is not going to be CEO? Who will? Who uh, and how will this happen? And you know, what does this mean for the for the for the company and for for those of you who are shareholders of the company? My initial reaction is positive to the news. In that, if you're going to if you're going to give uh, Ryan Cohen complete control of the company, which you are by having him become the chairman of the board, which is on the shareholders uh, shareholder meeting day, June the 9th, June the 9th, he'll become the chairman of the board. I suspect that uh, shortly thereafter, in around the same time frame, Mr. Sherman will will step back, uh, be a director only, or perhaps even leave as leave the company entirely, and uh, the new a new CEO will come in that Mr. Cohen, I am sure, is uh, working on right now. They are probably into and may have already been into discussions with a number of possible candidates to take on this new role. And the person that takes over this role will obviously be very much uh, a specialist in e-commerce transactions, because that's where this company, as you know, is headed. So who could it be? From what company could it be? And what could it mean for you as shareholders if this individual is coming from uh, the higher uh, echelon of... uh, of a, an Amazon type company, um, eBay, um, Shopify, uh, you, you na- rattle off all the public companies you know that are, or at least I would say public companies that are e-commerce oriented. Come up with uh, with a, a top five or a top ten executive of any of these large outfits, much larger than GameStop is right now. What would cause someone of that stature to move? to a GameStop in this position. This would be the number two slot in the overall scheme of things, the number one executive slot, the number two overall just behind the chairman. What would want What would want someone to do that? Well, think about uh, someone like, uh, like, uh, like a Tim Cook. Uh, Tim Cook was the number two man at Apple for quite a while and now is number one. Uh, the upside can be dramatic, can be incredible. Uh, you might be a number 10 employee with uh, with uh, an Amazon right now, and you've got uh, a good paycheck, you've got perks, you have stock options, yeah. But <clears throat> you're never going to become, the, you're unlikely to become the number one person because there are nine others like you that are there now, and they can parachute in someone from the outside over above you at any time. You never know. You may have topped out. Um, on the other hand, you are a, an up and coming executive and you are, um, 35, 40 years of age. Uh, you, you might not reach the upper echelon of the company you're with for another 10 or 15 years where here the opportunity could come knocking where Mr. Cohen and the headhunter comes up to you and says, how would you like to join our company as CEO? Take this company to places it's never been before. Make it the world leader in e-commerce for gaming. Uh, we've got we've got plans. We've got the cash. We have the cash flow. We can raise more cash. We have a board of directors uh, that are you know completely behind this new direction. You're in this business, the e-commerce side of things. You can now become a CEO of a publicly traded company on the New York Stock Exchange. That is that is a pinnacle position, and you could really take this company forward. Now, keep in mind that was it about a month ago, a month and a half ago, I was telling you about a hire that the company had made. 
where they had uh, they brought people in, including a a, a new uh, I believe it was C a COO. I think that was the the position that uh, we talked about, and um, uh, we talked about how the COO was being offered a nine million dollar stock option from GameStop, and that every year that went by, more of that percentage would be transferred over in stock based on the value of the stock at the time of the transfer. And it would be a total of $9 million in stock that could be earned by this, this, uh, this new executive. This job here, this could be 15 million. Could be even, it'll be even more. It will be more. Now, Mr. Sherman, do not feel sorry for Mr. Sherman going out the front door whenever that happens, because when he leaves the company and the employment of the firm, he was brought in uh, in 19, 2019 when the stock was down in that $5 neighborhood. All the stock that he earned in the company, he earned at levels well under 20 bucks a share. I mean, all of it. So he's got several millions of shares now sitting at $138 today. And he can at any time, once he departs, sell off the stock, probably knowing what he knows, seeing the people who've come in already, Figuring out what's coming up, he may not want to sell stock for quite some time, which is his right. He doesn't have to sell stock the minute he leaves. He might find that he'll slowly piece off pieces of this stock down the road for millions and millions of dollars, which, which would turn out that when he <clears throat> was approached by Ryan Cohen uh, and Ryan Cohen having bought $76 million of this stock to get 13% of the company, the smartest move he made for himself was to bring him into the company as a director. Certainly the smartest move he made for all of you out there was to bring Ryan Cohen into the board of directors. If our, if I'm talking to anyone that has stock at 5 and $10 anymore, I don't know if any of you have stock that low. But those of you who are in this stock in the 20s and the 30s and the 40s and the 50s, you're all still quite well ahead with the stock at 139 right now. So for Mr. Sherman, a great move having brought in, uh, brought in Mr. Cohen. Now Mr. Cohen... Can he attract, and I don't think it's going to take too much. I think he's going to have a, 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 anyone he approaches will say yes, or will want this gig to, to come into the company um, with, a, uh, with, with a salary and perks and a, a, a huge amount of stock options going forward where if you can deliver this company to the promised land that Mr. Cohen would like to deliver to, and Chewy is already at the promised land, uh, we're talking about a scenario here where you may have an executive, chief executive that could get the kind of perks that at the beginning have a $15 million value, but at the end of the day could well have a $100 million payoff in, say, 10 years and beyond. They'll never, that individual will never get that deal where they are now. You got the right mix of people here. Um, from a gaming perspective, it'll be interesting to see, are we talking about anyone from Microsoft? Are we talking about anyone from the Xbox division? Are we talking about anyone from Sony's, the Sony side of things? Are we talking about, who are we after? Uh, who, who, the possibilities are limitless. And of course, what'll happen obviously, I think, is once the CEO is identified, watch out for the CEO to start working with Cohen to pick off the people the CEO wants. <laughs> Because there will be there will be the favorites of the CEO that this individual will want to bring in, and this could be the master plan with Mr. Cohen, where yeah, I have in mind I have in mind a couple of people, but it's the people underneath that person that I want too. I want a team. I want a full blown executive, and 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 you know, twenty people behind this leader to really take this company to the to the next level. It's kind of exciting. I think I think it could be very exciting.